It is believed that around 95% of traders are in fact not profitable. I did a quick Google search which showed me it's believed between 70 and 95% of people who trade in different markets actually lose money. Now this may be higher or lower for crypto, but today I wanna to discuss exactly what is going on in the market, why I believe the majority of people will lose money, why I actually trade against the majority of people, and what you guys can do to increase your chances of not being in this 90% bracket of people losing money. We're gonna go through the lessons I've learned in this market and pinpoint specific things that I believe have changed my luck from losing all of my money in 2017 to actually making a really healthy amount of profit in 2021 and 2022 and changing and taking all of those lessons into the current bull market and now this time we're gonna make even more money. Remember, nothing in my videos is financial advice because I am just a guy Guy sitting in his room who has been in this market for around seven years and I am building and learning every single day just like you but I may be just a couple of years ahead of you in your journey. Now we see Bitcoin doing some very interesting things right now at 63,800. We went to a low of about 62,900 and guys I've recently been discussing a trade here on the channel of Sui. Now, Sui has made us a very healthy amount of money. Right now, my trade is in $9,000 of unrealized profit, and we have about $18,000, let me put that in the week, yeah, $18,000 of realized profit. So that gives us around 27 and a bit thousand dollars of profit in just around one week, maybe a little bit less than that. And I wanna discuss how I've managed to do this and my thoughts and opinions around around the process I've taken. But before we do that, I wanna look at a more macro look on Bitcoin and why I actually trade against what the retail sentiment is. So there's a number of things that I look at. One really important thing that I look at that I think is overlooked a lot is the Google Trends data. This is the search term crypto, and we can see that right now, right, retail excitement and euphoria and intrigue is at an all-time low. In fact, we're at bear market lows in comparison to exactly where we were in 2023 and 2022 when nothing yet had happened. Now we see peaks like we had that meme coin season a few months ago and then we head straight back in here. This is my leading indicator to let me know that the majority of retail is not yet back into crypto. Therefore, I am trading against the majority by being bullish right now. Now, if we take an even closer look at the market to the people who are in the market right now, we can see something interesting happening with the liquidation data. So let's actually refresh this. We can see today, as the market has been bearish today, we see the majority of traders become short on the market. This is interesting. This is exactly what you don't want to do. You want to be short on the market at the tops, at the resistance, and you wanna go long on the market at the supports. Today, in fact, was a day to go long on the market so far. This shows us again that even the retail thought process of the people who are here right now, even though we are at basically bear market lows, but the people who are in the market now are still predominantly trading on emotion. They're waiting for their confirmation bias to hit the market before they actually go short or long, and this is why we have such volatility in this market. Because down here, this is where the majority go short. We see the majority go short here, and then we have violent moves upwards. The same can be said for people going along at resistance and then having violent moves downwards. This is what we see time in and time out again and again. So what we wanna do is actually position ourselves against these people. How do I do this in the long-term spot market? I simply dollar cost average over time when the market is in fear, uncertainty, and doubt. The leading way to figure out where we are in fear, uncertainty, and doubt is by looking at the crypto fear and greed index. Today we are in neutral. Yesterday, we were in greed. When we're in fear, we want to be buying. When when market's in green, greed, we want to be taking profits and we want to be securing our bags and protecting our downside. Sometimes this works and sometimes it's not perfect, but this is why I've traded SUI in the way that I have today. Or the, over the last week. Yes, I opened this position initially at around $1. It then proceeded to go significantly higher from there, and I took out profits along the way. 
If I had never have closed any of my position, in fact, I just continued to build it, I would have made more money sitting in the position I am today than if I had have done what I did, which is take profits. However, I took profits when the market was euphoric and that, sh that is how I protect my capital and my downside in the long term. If I always protect my capital and my downside, I do limit the, t the highs and the profits that I can make, but I can still make very healthy profits while staying safe in the market. That's something that I like to do. Of course, you guys might have your own strategies, your own ways to do it, but having lost everything in 2017, I have learned to realize and understand that I do not know better than the overall market. I do not know where the actual bottom is and the absolute top is and how can I protect myself and do the best without this crystal ball. I simply dollar cost average when the market is fearful and I dollar cost average out when the market is euphoric. As I told you just now, the market has been overly greedy in the last couple of days. So I have been dollar cost averaging out of that position. It's very simple. When I see profits, I slowly start to take them, but I always leave a bag in so I can continue to make money. In fact, it's my belief that Sui can do a Cardano-like run. I have 30,000 Sui still left in this trade. From my calculations, that is about $50,000 still. And that's a lot of money in my opinion. It may be a little to you, it may be a lot to you, but this is how I like to trade in this market. And it was actually a comment who, <laughs> who brought this up to me. And I did really like it. And I appreciate all the comments I get on this channel. Please continue to leave them. I like my thoughts and my ideas to be challenged here on the channel because I started this channel when I didn't have any followers, right? I just started talking about crypto and how I, what I believe in it and all of those sorts of things. So I check the comments. I love uh, my followers to comment and us to have conversations. And this really struck my eye, this comment, and I think it's a very interesting thought process, it's exactly what I'm talking about here. This guy wanted me to basically uh, 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 confirm what I had done in my trade. And I think they get a little bit confused as to where I got in, but that doesn't matter. Um, basically telling me that I would have done a lot better, right? I would have done a lot better if I had have just held my bag throughout this whole run. Because in fact, I did take profits when the market pulled back. I re-added to the bag and added a stop loss so I wouldn't lose money if that re-add was a mistake. So I think that's where the confusion has come here. And I really like this because this is exactly what I'm talking about and exactly the reason why I think a lot of people will lose money in this market and I don't want you guys to make this sort of mistake. So if you had have just left it in there, you would be up even more. All trading not getting you anywhere. Now this is the mindset that I was in in 2017 and 2018 and it's perfectly correct in this exact example. If I had have bought at $1 as I did and just held my bag, it was worth about 100k when I bought it, if I had just held that, I would have made made more profit in percent gains and dollar value sitting in the position right now. However, we don't know what will happen in the short term and the long term. And I learned from losing, in fact, 70, about $75,000 in 2017, which I made from $3,000. I lost all of it. And from that lesson, I learned that I don't know what will happen. So when I see profits, I secure them. To me, profit is profit. And $27,000 in a week is absolutely mind blowing. I'm so grateful and fortunate I can be in a position like this. And some of this is thanks to you guys simply following this channel. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And this is exactly the mindset, right? I also remove my emotion from the trade. I do not look at that trade and go, I wish I had have held it open longer because I have learned from holding trades open too long so many times that overall, on average, if I do not take profit, the average amount of PL from my entire position, right? Not just one single trade, my entire position, my average profit is significantly lower. Just like when I was taking profits from Cardano, from Ethereum, some Bitcoin, and a magnitude of other altcoins in the last bull run, I did not manage to time the perfect top. In fact, I took profits too early on Solana. Let me get Solana's chart up so we can talk about this quickly. I actually took profits way too early on Solana. Of course, my internet won't work the second I wanna to talk to you guys about it. Um, let me just get that up. I actually started taking profits on Solana at, I think from memory, about $180, right? 
So this was the last bull run back yet in 2021. So I started taking profits from Solana around here. Having bought it down here at $30 before this initial peak, we pulled back. I bought some more in this region here. Then I started to shave and I sold quite a lot of my profits at around 180. I was wrong by about 40%. And yes, that was painful when I was wrong. But I stuck to my guns and I waited and look at the downside from where I got out was. We were down 93%. Now, on the next time round, I had all of the profits that I took from here and I was dollar cost averaging into Solana heavy. In fact, if you go to the live channels, if the live videos here on the channel, you will actually see me talking live about buying Solana at I think it's $18 here. So from that buy, we actually got today a 600% move. So this is how I trade. I take profits in euphoria. In fact, to be completely transparent and honest, that $18 trade, I actually closed out some other profit at about $40. I doubled my bag and then I had a completely free bag to ride all the way up, including everything that I accumulated here. So that's how I trade. And yes, if you are correct 100% of the time, simply holding your bag will make you more money over time. I don't believe that I can outsmart the market on every decision. So on average, if I take profits over time, that's how I make the most amount of money. And that is why I didn't follow that strategy. I lost all of my money in 2017 and I managed to cash out a load of money in 2021. So this is my thoughts and opinions around this on the market. Please let me know what you think down there in the comment section. I would love to have another discussion with all of you guys. And if you are looking for a place to trade, I do have what I consider a safer way to trade with leverage. So we can see here, this is an example. Let me just turn off my uh, camera here. We can see my Doge trade. I opened a 10,000 dollar doge trade here right and since then we have gone up around 92 percent sadly this is down uh from the highs that we were in i think we were in close to a thousand and a half profit or so on that just recently yeah we were up a little bit higher but what i did here was instead of closing the position what i did was i doubled the leverage and i pulled out my margin right so the money that i put into the trade i pulled that out so we actually had about thirty-five thousand xrp in the trade i pulled half of that out now i have seventeen thousand in the trade and I put my stop loss at break even, meaning if the market pulls back from where we are, my trade will uh, get stopped out and it won't cost me anything. However, if the market goes up, I have all of the upside potential with none of the risk. And again, this is something that I personally like to do. So if you do want an exchange that you can access from absolutely anywhere in the world at any time, I like to trade on Margex as well as other exchanges. The reason I like Margex is as you can see in this trade, I'm trading Dogecoin, but with XRP as collateral. So as this trade increases, you can see I've made $1,000 in profit, which means I've made 1,691 XRP. So I'm building my XRP position by trading other altcoins. You can do the same with Bitcoin. You can even do the same with Casper, and it's the only platform you can do the same with Casper, trading Casper. So I think this is a great opportunity. It's a non-KYC, no VPN, no personal details required exchange. And the links are down there in the description. And uh, hopefully, guys, I provide you with some value. I really hope that every single one of you makes it out of this bull run with unbelievable amounts of profit. But the only way we can do that is by being sensible and using good risk management. So hopefully you found some value in this video. If you did, all I ask in return is you smash that like button. If you want to come to the next video, turn on the subscriptions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.